الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلا علی وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد ایو الحبت فی اللہ May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve you and may Allah bless us all with ilm nafia ilm nafia wa rizqan tayyib wa amalan mutaqabbilan and may Allah bless us all with tawfiq and ikhlas with thabat and jannah to firdaus us and our families ameen ya rabbil alamin and the muslims everywhere and may Allah guide the non-muslims to kitab illa wa sunnah to rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ameen ya rabbil alamin continue on in our study of our treaties of shaykh uh, muhammad ibn abdul wahab al wasabi hafidhullah ta'ala his treaties uh, about the importance of knowledge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this regard, Hal yastawi alladheena ya'lamoon walladheena la ya'lamoon innama yatadhakkaru ulal albab. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabi al-kareem, Are those who know equal to those who know not? It is only men of understanding who will remember. This shows us the benefit of ilm. This shows us the fadl of ilm. And the fadl of Ahla ilm, that the people of knowledge, they're, they are on another level. And it, the, the one who's ignorant and the one who has knowledge are not the same in the religion. And I don't care what view a person has. Many people, they have very harsh positions and staunch positions and they want to propagate Islam, but they have no knowledge. They didn't study with the ulama. They don't take from the ulama. They maybe make takfir of other Muslims or make tabdi of other Muslims, and they don't have ilm, and they don't have hikmah, and they don't have fiqh, fi deen. But this is reserved for ahl ilm. And the person who knows, those people from ahl ilm, are, are the ulama of ahl sunnah. They're not the same as the ulama of ahl bid'ah. They're better than them. And they're not, and even all the ulama are better, let me rephrase this, the ulama are better than those, than the average person or the students of knowledge, as long as they're practicing their knowledge. And the ilm is what distinguishes the people, the knowledge and the practice of that knowledge. How you stay a ladina ya'lamun, a waladina la ya'lamun is the one who, uh, those who have knowledge uh, similar to those who do not have knowledge, who are ignorant. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al-kareem, Yurfa'i Allah al-ladheena amanu minkum, wal-ladheena utu al-ilma darajat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al-kareem. And Allah raises those who believe from amongst you, and those who He has given, or who He has given uh, knowledge, darajat. So the fadl and the khair and it is a praiseworthy position and Allah raises them in the dunya and in the akhirah, in this life as well as the, the hereafter. Those people who are, who are people of knowledge, those people who are given knowledge, they're raised by darajat in this life as well as the hereafter. Those people who believe from amongst you and those who who are given uh, knowledge. They're raised in darajat. Sheikh bin Uthimi said regarding this, he said, وَلِهَذَا نَجِدُوا أَنَّ أَهْلَ الْعِلْمِ مَحَلَ الثَّنَا كُلَّمَا ذُكِرُوا أَثْنَا عَلَىٰ نَاسْ عَلَيْهِمْ He says that this, regarding this, you'll find, or we find, that the people of knowledge are always in a position of praise. They're always uh, praised in the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or just in general. And he says whenever they are mentioned, the people praise them. That's a fadl min Allah. So it's not seeking the knowledge to be praised, but Allah raises them. Allah raises them. Allah raises them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, قُلْ هَذِهِ سَبِيلِي أَدْعُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ عَلَى بَصِيرًا أَنَا وَمَنَ اتَّبَعْنِي وَسُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ وَمَا أَنَا مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, about the path of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He says, say, 
that this is my path. Call to Allah with insight, basira. Ana wa tabani. Though and I, I call to this and those who follow me. And glory be, be to Allah. And verily, I am not one of the polytheists. So this shows us that knowledge is what raises people. And in order to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and know his sabil, know his, his path, the straight path, and to be able to call to it, you have to have knowledge. You have to have ilm for da'wah ilallah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to have something of knowledge. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also said, and this also shows the fadl of knowledge. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِذَا مَاتَ مَرِي إِنْ كَتَ الْعَمَلُهُ إِلَّا مِنْ ثَلَاثِ أَسَدَكَ جَارِيَ أُلْعِلْمْ يَنْتَفْعَ بِي أُوَلَدٍ صَالِهٍ يَدْعُوا لَهُ رواه مسلم in this hadith is Sahih Muslim the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said if a person dies his deeds are cut off except three and may Allah bless us to get all three I mean ya Rab ya Rab sadaqa jariya the continuous charity meaning you built a masjid you put a building for waqf you know you made a a trust where the people don't have to pay rent for the students of knowledge or for the poor or for battered wives or battered women or whatever, a shelter that you, you make them so they don't have to pay rent and it's for that purpose. Sadaqa jariya, you know, a continuous charity. Or knowledge that the people benefit from. So, especially by writing books and having students and them learning from you and them continuing on and... Uh, continue on the path of knowledge you will be rewarded from that and that is something that is an amal that will not cease to benefit you while you're in the grave or waladin saliha a righteous child or a righteous son righteous child that supplicates for you so that if you die you have children that loved you and they pray for you and maybe they give charity on your behalf, and maybe they make umrah or hajj on your behalf, etc. So this is, those are the types of, some of the greatest deeds that shows you the, the greatness of what? Of ilm. Because ilm is one of those things that will not be cut off. And may Allah bless us with it, I mean. And also, Illustrating the benefit of the people of knowledge, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al Kareem, Ya yuladina amanu wa ati Allah wa ati Rasul, wa ul al amri minkum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O oh, you who believe, obey Allah and obey the Messenger and, and those who are charged in authority over you. Now listen to this faida from Ahlul Ilm. Listen to this benefit from. Imam bin Uthaymeen rahmatullahi alayhi regarding this ayat. He says, فَإِنَّ وَلَاتُ الْأُمُورِ هُنَا تَشْمَ وَلَاتُ الْأُمُورِ مِنَ الْأُمَرَى وَالْحُكَّامِ وَالْعُلَمَاءِ وَطَلَبَتَ الْعِلْمِ فَالْوِلَايَةَ أَهْلَ الْعِلْمِ فِي بَيَانَ شَرْعِيَةِ اللَّهِ وَالدَّعْوَةَ النَّاسِ إِلَيْهَا وَوِلَايَةَ الْأُمَرَى فِي تَنْفِيدِ شَرْعِيَةِ اللَّهِ this is just beautiful speech the Imam said about this ayat that we just mentioned. He said, regarding this, uh, about the obeying those who are charged in authority over you, he said, verily, the, the leaders, uh, the, the, that in this ayat, what refers to leadership, it includes the leaders from amongst the, you know, the, the leaders of the Muslims and governments, and the scholars and the students of knowledge. And he said, and the and the leadership of Ahla Ilm is in making clear Allah's Sharia and calling the people to it, propagating it. 
and the wilayatul umara, the leadership of the leaders, so to speak, is in carrying out the sharia of Allah and enforcing it on the people, that this should be applied in the land. So these are the fadl of Ahl al-ilm. Also the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith of Mu'awiyah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, سَمِعْتُ نَبِيَّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمَ يَقُولُ مَنْ يَرَدَ اللَّهُ بِهِ خَيْرًا يَفَقُهُ فِي الدِّينِ وَإِنَّمَا أَنَا قَاسِمٌ وَاللَّهُ يُعْتِي وَلَنْ تَزَالَ هَذِهِ الْأُمَّةُ قَائِمَةً عَلَى أَمْرِ اللَّهِ لَا يَضُرُّهُ مَنْ خَالَفَهُمْ وَحَتَّى يَأْتِي أَمْرُ اللَّهِ رُوَاهُ بُخَارِي إِنَّ الْحَدِيثَ الْصَحِيحَ بُخَارِي الْحَدِيثَ بِمُعَاوِيَةَ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَلَعَنَ the Prophet وسلم, say, whenever Allah wants good for a person, he gives him understanding of the religion. And verily, I am Qasim, and Allah is the giver. Or Allah gives. And that this nation will not cease to be firm upon Allah's religion and no one will harm them who differs with them until Allah's day of judgment. Regarding this beautiful hadith, Imam Ahmed said about this on Hadhi Ta'ifa called إِنْ لَمْ يُكُونُوا أَهْلَ الْحَدِيثِ فَلَا أَدْرِ مَنْ هُمْ Imam Ahmed bin Hanbal Rahimahullah Ta'ala said about this hadith He said, if this is not regarding the people of hadith then I don't know who it's about letting us know the Ahl hadith Ahl Athar Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'ah the Salafiyun those people who adhere to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And especially from amongst them, the people of knowledge are those people that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was letting us know that they will, they will not be harmed even if people differ with them and even if they try to harm them. That Ahl al-Ilm and Ahl al-Sunnah will be, will be uh, in existence, bi idnillah, until close to the last days when Elm is finally lifted and there will just be Jahil and people who don't know and the worst of people will, will be in existence. So up until that point, Ahl Sunnah and Ahl Elm will be mawjood. وَقَالَ قَادِ عِيَادُ رَحِمَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى أَرَادَ أَحْمِدْ أَحْلَ أَحْلَ السُنَّةِ وَمَنْ يَعْتَقِدْ مَذْهَبْ أَحْلَ الْحَدِيثِ Allahu Akbar Qadi Iyad said about the statement of Imam Ahmed that we just mentioned. He said, Ahmed meant Ahl Sunnah and those who hold the belief and the Yatakid the, 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 Madhab, the belief and the way of Ahl Hadith. And there are so many Ahadith talking about the importance of knowledge, that books, immense, enormous books are written about it. So we'll get back to our treaties, which is discussing it. And before we do, one last hadith of the Prophet wasallam, the hadith of uh, Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu who said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu said that there is no hasid or envy except for two. A man who Allah has given wealth and he spends it in the truth, to aid the truth. And a man who, has, who Allah has given uh, wisdom, hikmah, meaning ilm and hikmah, wisdom. And he dispenses with it, uh, you know, he practices it and he spreads it amongst the people, he teaches people.
And that's a hadith of Bukhari and Muslim. Ahabatifillah. Those are just some of the fada'il of seeking knowledge before we get into the treaties. And we'll try to keep our lessons as short as possible that we can hopefully gain benefit and be cooking dinner and do whatever small things and, and activities that we do, we, whatever uh, we all have to do, but that at the same time we can gain some benefit. And I encourage myself and my brothers and sisters to seek knowledge, to continue to gain benefit wherever you get benefit from them, from, from Ahl Sunnah, that there are so many things that are translated. And if you have the Arabic language, there is just a, a wealth, a gold mine, because you can go to the sources and you can go right to the ulama, and you can sit and listen to the ulama of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. So my advice to myself and my brothers and sisters is to take at least one day a week and sit in a, 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 a halaqa in your local masjid if you can, for the men and the women to gain knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's religion. And if you can't do that, if you can benefit from, from those people you trust from the internet, or from the phone, or however ways that you can seek knowledge, but seek knowledge and benefit yourself in your religion, and it makes the path clearer for you, especially during trials and tribulations. Because what we find is many people that when trials and tribulations come, they blow to the right or they blow to the left, and some blow away completely, meaning that they leave Islam due to fitna and trials, or that they become extreme, like the Tekfiri extremists, like uh, all these groups out there, like Shabab and Boko Haram and all these other extremists that don't represent Islam. Or they go to the other extreme to where they leave off all of those, imp those principles of the religion and they, you know, maybe they practice the religion, but they don't do their, uh, all of their duties and give the haq, where it's due. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be balanced and forgive us of our many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.